Hey everyone, I've been making this program that will allow me to email myself anywhere around the world. I'm trying to forward myself to the pitcher of the Toronto Blue Jays, Marcus Stroman. We're gonna review MLB, the show. What are you doing? Nothing. Yep, uh, it's just another day at gaming show. Hey, Marcus. Ian, how'd you do that? I emailed myself. I created a program using code. Really? I've been trying that myself, but can't seem to figure out the last part. Oh, it's easy. Uppercase Q, lowercase g, backslash, forward slash, underscore, underscore, backslash, dot, exclamation point, exclamation point, and then... Bunch of dots. Ah, uh, bunch of dots. That's the part I forgot. How can I help you? I was hoping you can get me out of a little jam here. I need to make a game review for the channel. Can you help me out? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. How's your fastball? <laughs> I'd say it's pretty good. <laughs> I'll be the Jays. They're my team. What? That's actually my team. I actually play for them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. We are ready for baseball. <laughs> Knuckleballer. I love this game. Yeah, graphics are great. I mean, look at Dickie's hair. It's perfect. Oh, what are you doing? He's got a hot box. Ooh, what's going on? What the? It's a double play. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> it's a double play. All right. What do you got pitching? Oh, Clayton. Cool thing about this game, though, you can actually throw a slider, curveball, knuckleball, fastball, all kinds of balls. That's like oh. Colby's exact stance, too, an exact swing. How are you throwing your knuckleball? Pretty sure I'm hitting X and then I'm just locating with the analog and kind of just, just trying to locate it. See, and then I need to hit with my power swing, with my square button. I thought this is your game, right? I'm an amateur at this game. And I'm... Okay, well, this is a review. So, uh, one out of 10 parents' garages. What do you give it? <sighs> it's pretty good, man. I'm going to have to give it nine and a half to a 10. Um, wow. Great graphics, gameplay is unbelievable. Mm. It's very lifelike. Well, I should probably get back before anyone realized that I didn't do the review. I was wondering if you guys need like a host or a correspondent. I would love to get in on your channel. Could I maybe be the sports guy? Uh, I'm kind of the sports guy around there. No, oh, it's just that I figured I'd. You know, I'll be keep you in mind, Joe. Can I call you Joe? Nobody messes with the Joe. In my parents' garage. Hit X. She has to start, right? No, oh, no, no, don't start. Did you actually? No, don't. No. I don't know what I'm doing. We said don't start. Sorry. Uh, hey, guys. Today we're doing our Fez Let's Play, except we got a bit of a twist. You see, Julia is blindfolded. Julia, how many fingers am I holding up? Three. You see? She can't see. <laughs> Ian and I are going to use our amazing communication skills to uh, direct Julia to the game. OK, so let's start off by going to the right. Oh, now go through the door. There. Yeah. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I, Where am have, I? I don't, I don't know. Uh, keep going to your left. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, your other left. Is it your other What's left? What's your no, other that left? That means right. I think okay, your other left. Oh, there you go. You jump. Yeah. OK, oh, keep, keep jumping. Right. Go, now, now, now go, go to, to the right. right. Go to your right. Hey, we agreed on something. Stop, no, wait, stop. wait, oh. stop. Can you not just say rapidly Tap it twice top? in a row. Oh, no. Oh. What, 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 what? Oh. Okay, you almost you died. scared me. Melvin's no, Melvin's coming. chasing Melvin's you. Melvin's coming, hurry Melvin. up. Melvin. <laughs> Melvin's the other guy. Melvin. Keep okay, going to your go right. right. No, no, oh, it's like time. a couple more Little steps. Little tap. Go to your left. Left. No, left. no. <laughs> Guys, where's the controller? We're back at square. Do I need to grab it for you? Where'd it go? Yes, you need to grab it for me. Where'd it go? You think I can see anything? There you go. Oh, no! You jumped you, out you the side of a cliff! Oh, it's OK, he's back. Just take the controller. Hey, guys, Finn, and welcome back to my time, where I'm going to be showing you what's new and cool in the world of Minecraft. First up for you guys, today is the map showcase. Today's map is an awesome mini game called Survival Bingo. It's a really unique idea. 
the way it works is each person gets their very own bingo card and uh, they look really good with all the Minecraft items on there so you know exactly what you're trying to get and uh, you're thrown into a survival world where you have to try and collect all of the items on the bingo card to get a bingo or a row of five. It's really fun. I played it a couple times with Sky and I beat him both times. That was just luck. Yeah, right. <sighs> He's just jealous that I'm so good at it. I really like how they use the map uh, to create all the items and uh, the way it actually refreshes so you can see what you've gotten so far and what you still need to get. It's really cool. And as always, I've got for you guys another amazing texture pack. Today it is called Bluebird. It is a 16 by 16 pack, so it's the same resolution as the default Minecraft. I'm really impressed with this pack because it's really hard to make 16 by 16 packs and have them still look really good and everything still be very recognizable. And uh, they did a really good job with that. So that's it for my time. I hope you guys enjoyed, but before we get back to the garage, our friends at Risen Visual have uploaded their latest awesome video. Check it out. Hey guys, we really need to work on our teleportation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to figure out how to move as one. Mm. Guys, on the count of three, we are going to teleport. On three or the one, two, three? Huh. Like one, two, three, bang. The one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay, bang. The Ready? Okay. One, two, three. What a rush. <sighs> Do it again? Absolutely. Yes, abs yeah. I never want to stop Three, two, doing one! That. Well, the review should be up shortly. What are you guys up to? Just checking out some of the comments on our Fez Let's Play. So far, they're super positive. Hawkdop says, loving the Let's Play, keep them coming. OJ Magic said, loving the Let's Plays. They're hilarious. Oh, of course they are. Well, this one comes from Jesse's Mom 3000. Great job on the Let's Play, but don't forget to pick up your dirty underwear off the bathroom. Mom, come on! Oh, this one's from a Grudge Master 54. Pure farts. And two out of the three of you guys have bad haircuts. Well, it can't be mine. This is no accident. Wait. It's definitely not mine. Okay, it's just one negative comment. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> You're beautiful. I'm here at EA Sports to learn more about NHL 15. Okay, so here's the deal. If I block your shot, then you have to show me NHL 15 and how collision physics work. But if you score, then you have to show me NHL 15 and how collision physics work. Deal? Okay, deal, I guess. Bring it on. Bring it on like Rigatoni. 
looks like a puppet. Outstanding save by the goalie. And a whistle. <laughs> this is awesome. And a lot safer, too. Well, you know, you did fall coming up the stairs of the office. Twice. Those are tricky stairs. It's not my fault. Come on, you must have fallen down them once or twice. No, afraid not. So how do collision physics work? Well, for the first time ever, we have 12 man collision physics. Every player on the ice can interact with each other. What that means is that any goal mouth scramble, last minute chaos, and big hits can be experienced right from your coach. Good evening, everyone, along with Eddie Olchent, Mike Emmerich from. You know, what's cool as well is we got a new commentary team, and we've recorded over 90,000 lines of commentary. Only 90,000? Come on, I bet you I could think of more than 90,000. All right, smart guy. Go ahead. Yeah, I think I will. How about, um, uh, just give me a second, don't be pushy. How about, uh, mm, oh, no. Ooh, uh, uh, you know, well, thanks for playing with me. I should probably get back to the garage. All right, any time. Oh, wait. I think you might need this. Nah, I'll be fine. All right. You okay? Yeah, it's all good. All right. When it comes to trolls on the internet, it's just best to ignore them. You don't like that silly hair comment. You just gotta ignore the crowd. Yeah, you know? Shut him out. Okay, Grudge Master 54 is in my head. You guys, you both got great hair and you're so calm about it. We all need to calm down, okay? In order to make us feel as smooth as my hair, we have to video call Smooth McGroom. Sweet Smooth McGroom! <laughs> How's it going, guys? Nice hair, by the way. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Nice beard. Thank you. <laughs> Do you condition your beard? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, I do wash it, though. You got to keep your hair clean. I do, yeah. too. How do you deal with negative comments on your channel? They're, they're going to happen because there are a lot of trolls out there. So just try to ignore them and focus on the positive ones because those are the ones that are going to, you know, push you forward to make more videos. What was your favorite video that you did? Uh, man, my favorite one was probably... One Winged Angel, that was fun because that had like something like 30 tracks. I mean, it was a massive amount of videos that I had to splice together. That was a lot of fun to make. How did you get started? I started off just doing kind of video game related original songs and uh, hit a creative block and decided to do something a little different. So I covered Zelda's Lullaby with just my voice. La And, you know, intentionally limited myself to just the voice. And it was, it was a lot of fun and it was really challenging and I knew I could do better. So I wanted to keep doing more. Can you give us some basic tips on how to do what you do? Just find a song that you like and, you know, start to break up the parts into the individual little bass lines and melodies and percussion stuff and, you know, you, you keep it simple, and then you just put them all together. I've heard your theme song, guys. I mean, you you guys should try an acapella version of that. Yeah! yeah. Gaming show in my parents' garage. Gaming show in my parents' garage. Good luck with your channel. See you, Smooth. See ya, thanks a lot. Oh, yes! If you're five alarm cool again. Except... I got some unfinished business to deal with. You the one they call Seth? Who wants to know? My name's Jesse, and I'm seeking Seth. I hear he's some kind of Pokemon master. Oh! Seth! Oh, that really hurts. I got a bone to pick with you, bub. I've learned a thing or two since we last met. I'm here to challenge you to a duel. Here's how it works. 
We keep naming Pokemon from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. First man to run out of names gets run out of town. You're on. Shriko. Talo. Sceptile. Seedot. Torchic. Grovile. Blaziken. Mudkip. Torgul. Mighty Anna. Gulpin. Laron. Exploud. <sighs> Swampert. <sighs> Wurmple. Nuzleaf. Skitty. Plusle. Running out of HP, kid? No. Uh, what about, um. Anything? Jesse Alatalis Lesbent? Nope. How do you know? Check my Pokedex. So close. You sure were, kid. One point there, I thought you were gonna beat me. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Hey, look, another comment. I hope your next vid's not as dull as that garage. Looks like a place to wait out the apocalypse. It's not dull, it's doomsday chic. Yeah. Doomsday chic? What? It's a thing. Guys, I gotta get to Nolan North. Ian, do the thing where you email yourself, except this time, do it for me. Hey, that's my thing. Do your own thing. Fine. <laughs> Maybe it's the lighting. I'm here at Bang Zoom Entertainment in LA, and I'm here to meet one of the biggest voices in gaming, Nolan North. It's real. Yeah. Most people have to do a juice cleanse to get hair like that, but, you know. Once I put my hair in a juicer, but it didn't do anything. No. It just hurt. I want to be a world-famous voice actor just like you. What's some advice you could give me? Creating a character for in front of a microphone like this is the same thing as you do in front of a, a, a television camera. Best thing is acting classes, and then, you know, tap into the, uh, to the people you hear around town, you know, the people, your friends. Uh, my first impressions were always family members. What is the hardest sound that you make? One of the hardest things is probably like a, a like, like the, the, quiet, high-pitched scream. Like, I don't even... You know, so it sounds like it's far away, but you have to kind of hold it back. It's weird. Uh, oh, my... That kills me. Try again. Just start low and go high? Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. I'm a great actor, and I can do crazy things with my voice. Like, check this out. To be or not to be, that is the question. To roll in the swimming pool of eternity and bask in the riches of shades. That's not how that goes. But, that but, it, but it really isn't. But, um... I got a 20... I'm even better at that than in, I am in, in biology. I've got, in, a, like, a 27. Do you, know, do you know who wrote that, to be or not to be? Spearshake. Spearshake. Can we do one last thing before I go? Sure. I've got a bunch of pictures here with characters on them. I'm gonna hold them up one at a time, and I want you to come up with the voice for each character as fast as you can. Three, two, one. Well, that's just Nathan Drake. Uh, it's pretty much my voice, so. This one. Hey, what are you doing over here? You gotta get another net or we're in trouble. I will not find the princess in the castle. I will simply go up there Bunk her on top of the head and drag her out. This one. Hey, I'm wearing my hat on backwards. Come on, let's go play somewhere. This one. You should have some type of a royal accent because she's so very pretty. Okay, listen. Everybody on top of the ship. Let's go. That was brilliant. You know, some would, would pay me for that. 
You're not expecting money from me, are you? What do you got? I got nothing. How are you at washing cars? You're a strange, strange boy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, does this place look different or is it just me? Oh, huh. does it? I feel like it's always looked like this, more or less. Uh, so what's that thing? Oh, you mean a decorative vase filled with glazed end rocks? Yep. It's nothing. That's exactly what Grudge Master 54 is gonna say when he sees the subtle ambience of our beautifully decorated garage with the tasteful elegance and our sick new haircuts, okay? That is exactly what he's gonna say. Nothing. Or whatever. List! list. Can we get a list? Can, can we get it like, over here, please? Let's just have it Some, sweep from the left on, over there to the right. We'll have it, that happen in three, one, two, one. one. Go. Top five ways to eat and game at the same time. Number five, when your hands fail, use your feet. Number four, liquefy everything. Number three, make your own controller that is also a sandwich. Number two, one person plays, the other throws. Yeah. Number one. Get sneaky with a hands-free game by incorporating eating. changed a lot of things up in the past little bit, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we are back on track. Totally. Would you please take that thing off? Why? It's, it's me. We're just not gonna be defeated by Grudge Master 54 anymore. Haters gonna hate, but we just gonna hang. Okay, that wasn't particularly cool, but right idea. What we're trying to say is that we're just not gonna change for anyone. Except for our moms. Yes. Also not particularly cool, but Great spirit. Well, clearly someone's out there trolling, and we're just gonna have to take the high road. Who is this Grudge Master 54 anyways? I don't know. It's like he's holding a weird grudge or something. Nobody messes with the stroke.